for today, we're going to put in the next series of charts and we're going to do them all at once. The charts we were working with before all were the same. They started with one and went to 100 and we were looking at them as tens and ones. Now we're going to stretch beyond 100 and go all the way up to 1000. But don't worry, you don't have to write all the numbers. They're already down for you. The trick here is going to be to make sure that you keep the numbers in order. I'm going to use a highlighter and you can do the same. If you have a highlighter or you could always circle them with the crayon. I think you got a highlighter in that um, baggie of supplies that they gave you when you got your Chromebook. But if you need to use a crayon and just circle the number instead of highlighting, or you could even just color it in very lightly too. That'll be fine also. I'm gonna use my highlighter just to show that we're starting with number one and halfway down this chart, it ends with 100. And that's what we've been focused on up until now. Now the chart's gonna keep going. Here's 101. Remember if you're using a highlighter, um, you don't want to overlap too much or press too hard. This tip is made of felt. If you press too hard, it will break. And if you go over it too much, um, it'll make the paper soggy and you could tear a hole in it. So you want to use a light touch and go over it minimally. From 100, it keeps counting, 110, all the way down to 200. Three, four. Four is good. Covered up. Four little swipes. Now if I turn the page, the next page starts with 201. It just picks up where the last chart left off. And then it goes all the way through all the 200s and it ends with 300. Then you see the next half, the bottom half, see this big dark line that separates the hundreds. So there's 301. And it goes through all the 300s, all the way down to, you guessed it, 400. These are going to be important to help you find areas. We're going to do some um, activities using these charts. And this will help you navigate through the charts quickly so you know which one to look for. You need to know which 100 you're in. Are you in the 200s or the 300s? And this will tell you. After 400, guess what? 401. These are all of the 400s and it ends with 499, 500. Now the bottom half is the 500s. 501 through all the 500s ending at 600. Next chart. These are all the 600s, starting at 601, ending with 700. Next chart, 701, all the 700s, ending with 800. Eight hundred one, all the 800s, see the eight in the hundreds place? ending with 900. 901, nine in the hundreds place, these are all the 900s, ending with 10 hundred. What's the other word for 10 hundred? 10 hundreds, 1,000. Once you're done with that, then you're gonna want your scissors we're going to trim each of these, leave just a little bit of a frame around all four sides and it should fit nicely into your notebook. So there's that one. Now I'm going to trim the next one. To the six and seven hundreds. 
Doesn't really matter what order you trim them in. But when we put them in the notebook, the order will matter. Okay, so 800s, 900s, like I'm going backwards, 900, 800, 700, 600. Six hundred, five hundred, four hundred. Okay, so 500, 400, 300, 200, last one. There's all the 100s, and then from 1 to 100, our original chart. Okay, so now, from our notebook, page 14, page 14 had our 10s. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So the next page would be page 15. And that's where the first chart will go. Okay, right in the middle. So 1 to 100, and then 101 to 200. Four little pieces, top and bottom, left and right. Okay, so that was 15. Now turn the page. Make sure it's only one. Don't let them get all... Don't get too many. So this is going to be page 16. And this one will be starting with 201 to 300. And then 301 to 400. That right in the center of the page. Four pieces of tape. bottom left and right if you're using a glue stick that's fine you can use a glue stick you know me I like tape okay then the next page page 17 this is going to be from 401 to 500 and then 501 to 600 Again, make sure you're only getting one. This will be page 18. We're getting a lot in this math notebook. Just start working on the other one, too. Okay, so this one's going to start with 601 and go to 700. 701 to 800. Center it. Four little pieces of tape. Page 19. The last one. So this will be 801 to 900, 
and then 901 down to 1,000. Right in the middle. There we go. And we're done. So we want to get these all in. We're going to do some uh, number mapping with them tomorrow. And maybe we could play a game, uh, a little game of Kahoot. We haven't played Kahoot yet. Maybe we could do some Kahoot games on Friday. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Right now, let's just get these all in, highlighted, taped in, done on page nine. Good to go. Good job.